Well, disappointed that uh, we lost 3 2 and over the weekend we didn't come up with any points and we were in the playoff high. We need points each and every game. Our guys did everything they had. We worked hard and just at the end, kind of find a way to, uh, to get the time goal. If we get this effort for the next weekend, which is a big series coming up against me, and an opportunity for us to get back in the playoff line, if we get the effort, then I make a chance as well. For this game, we need to get accomplished what we want to, and let's get points. Back to work on my game and focus in for this weekend on Friday and Saturday. Question. Question in everyone's mind, speaking of staff, is the status of Kevin Law? Uh, uh, Kevin Law is going to be week to week, uh, game to game. We'll, we'll take it up on uh, this Monday, Tuesday, see where he's at. He just, you know, he wants to play, it doesn't matter if he's going to be healthy enough to play. So. We've got really good players and all our players, and, you know, but we've got a lot of other good players who, who, who you saw tonight step up and, you know, and, and did a good job. So you know, we're, going to, we're going to play each game with the players that we have in the locker room ready to go. That the team is so shorthanded, what was your strategy going in to try to create offensive chances? Well, our strategy, it, you know, a lot of offenses, you know, gets generated in neutral zone, so uh, we were trying to. Uh, and I thought we did a real good job in the second, third period because they're a fast team. They transition pucks quickly. Is is just go to a pass of one, two, two in neutral zone, club in the middle. And, um, and I thought it worked well because they were hinging a lot, you know. And when they hinge, it means that they, they can't move the puck north and south. So it's just slowed down their forecheck, and I thought that. They would dump pucks and we would be able to get, we were able to get back to cheating and start our offense. So, um, you know, we just try to play a simple game in the neutral zone and then we continue feeding our four check, which I thought we did. One thing we did well last night was we, we four checked well. Um, you know, we didn't have that sustained offensive four check this year, but tonight I thought we did a good job. We, we, we got fatigued a little bit at the end. You know, we were, we were playing you know, only a ninth forward stress, but we were kind of going seven and eight there for a period of time. So. You know, just keep keep simple. It's the, it's the way we play tonight. You know, and keep shots from the outside as much as you can. And it's almost like playing a road game in your own building and just you know, dumb it down a little bit. And I thought we were effective. I thought we executed. Josh, the first line did uh, do some all sorts of problems last night. They were pretty much a non-factor tonight uh, for problems. What was the difference in, in shutting them down from last night to tonight? Uh, I think we just had to keep good gaps tonight. I think we've seen that they come hard. Uh, they, tonight they use the middle of the ice a lot on their neutral zone transition. So I think the unit stepped up a lot tonight, a little bit more than last night. Um, just playing hard too. They're a, they're a good team. They come hard on dumps. Um, just using the reverse up the wall, I think tonight helped us a lot on the breakouts. So. Since coming back in the lineup, you've been skating a lot stronger. Is there one thing that you think has changed in your game? I don't think anything's changed at all. Just uh, maybe just seeing the ice a little bit, a little bit better. Um, seeing my opportunities to jump and play, try to help my team offensively as much as I possibly can. Jimmy, what was your take on that shot, man? Did the goal that they got? Well, how did you view that play? Uh, yeah, you know and. That was our first shorthanded goal we'd given up all year. We only hockey score ahead and given one up this year. And if you remember back to last year, we, we, were, we, were, we led the league, right, and giving up shorthanded goals. So it was a point of emphasis going in the year. And I think that was the one that we gave it up. Um, you know, Cody Ferriero, you know, lost an edge coming off a circle in, in center ice and then ran into, you know, Colt Saucerman and then two of them went down. And, Sauceman gets hurt because of that, and you know he'll be day to day now, and, and they get a breakaway, uh, and score the goal, a two and zero. So it was an unfortunate situation, you know, and we're on the power play, and we had moved it pretty well, and then we just gave up. Uh, it, was a, it was a bad break. So that kind of play almost is it was kind of the struggles you guys have had so far. You can't, you know, get one bounce to go your way, whether it be injuries or whatnot. Yeah, I mean. You know, you didn't know you can't feel sorry for yourself, and I didn't think we did. And then, you know, what was it? Twenty something seconds later, you know, we're scoring a goal. Josh is getting one in the power play, so I like the way our guys rebounded. So, 
it was almost like, hey, we just traded goals and you know we're still back three two or one down, but we had ten plus minutes to get the time goal. You know, I th you know at the end of the game we had our goalie pull. You know, Adam Reed made a great deflection. The puck came in, and I thought their goalie played you know played well and made a nice save right there in the crease with you know, seconds with seconds to go. You know, a lot of times those those goals those pucks will find their way behind, uh, and then you get.